49 meanwhile on towards FTX and I see the reason why although Tracy Sports has been you know or was from the upper bracket just the fact that they got demolished 4 to mm -hmm. 1 Baron Laner knows how to play the Renekton and like the back of his hand and like it's mm -hmm. a lot wait mm -hmm. That is a lot of damage, to be honest. Yeah, he will play plus eight, nine. That should oh, be enough. No. Yeah, Boom. that's gonna be first blood. FPX gets it. Yeah, even exhaust was used by user. I don't think he still gets it. But top lane, a dive commencing, and again, no escape tools this time around for the very second kill for FPX. One plus Phoenix really starting this game. He's getting cornered right now. Yeah, he's trapped and everything <laughs> is just gonna be used. Wait! Is he gonna be able to escape? Okay. Yeah, he doesn't. But that's a lot of pulls already invested by yeah. Tracy Sports. Uh, and also, FBX has started to get some tower plates on the top side. One of the best scaling marksmen that we have in the game, Yuza. Getting lots of resources. And Yuza, but there are three members here. Spawning the Rift Herald, getting some damage done here on the wave as well. Yusa has to back oh, away. Don 128 is in the vicinity. Is Zoss gonna be coming through? Yeah. Engage! Team the Hemo Blade, Blade and again! Cool guys don't throw like explosions. Yusa's <laughs> just gonna die and FTX has one kill and a tower. That's the second time Sky FL went for the combo of Ignite Hema Plague to its full potential. That's two kills for the Vladimir that continues to be a problem for Crazy Sports. What we expected was that the mid lane tower will go down and that indeed was what happened but lost in all that chaos was a lane kill I believe it was Kong getting caught out of position this Ezreal uh, even with 1.5k ahead got ganked by Tracy Spurs let's look into that replay and see what happened there Ooh, man. okay okay yeah, yeah. overextended got hit too much yeah. And just fell down. Yeah, and Korn's recognition that uh, it's a very. Yeah, let's talk about that later as we as we look at uh, Kong and Shingo Seven going all in. Nice charge gonna be reacted here by Tracy for I think they have to fall back, but all of the Forge God is gonna be called yeah. in. FTX Missed. is staying here. Yeah, that's a flash by Kong though, and Chao hasn't even used his unstoppable. They want to go in. Ooh, the flash could have initiated. Sky as well onto the backside. Yusa is already dead here right now, just waiting for Boom. the thing. The Vladimir will take him down. This Vladimir by FBX is starting to become a problem for Tracy Sports. Yeah. There's still a chance for a 50 50, but there are no ultimates for Tracy Sports to work with. They don't have weapons anymore to use against FBX, and this Baron's just gonna be taken down. Wave Easy. as well, just too far away. The rest will back away as well. Yeah, having the Alistar Power to we'll just get taken down. They still have two Push cannon. Weba almost got taken out there. Top side, it's just gonna be pushed. Lee Sao is too far forward, but they call in the uh -huh. Forge God. Don wants to wait. Into the assault, assault and battery gonna be used. FPX still will continue to fight, but they have to back away. Give mm -hmm. respect towards the race East Force. They continue on the onslaught. Don to one to eight will be, wow. get taken down. FPX loses too, but it got so much structure. Yeah. Uh, Tracy Sports though with the call to go in there was I believe something out of nothing and look at the prize right that's the Infernal Dragon potentially joining Tracy Sports. not sure they want to contest this is mm -hmm. gonna be coming through Korn is a little bit low already but at least they got the crown they are still going to winning way boss Shingo 7 is in the vicinity no still gonna be coming through FPX the wants to fight teleport incoming Shingo 7 chasing Yosa here, Don 128 as well, popping the Dominus. He wants to flash in. The root of oh, the is just gonna God. fall. FPX gets one kill and trade for the dragon. Yeah, Tracy Sports was uh, at least able to get that scaling dragon to their squad, but that one person disadvantage could allow FPX to just finally end this all. Tracy Esports with three person available. Oh, oh, oh a man! Catch once again. Chow doing God's work. Yeah, alley you towards the teammates. A scorn stasis is used, but the base is wide open. FPX will just run it down and take game number one. All the believers of FPX is rising up, and for good reasons. That was a complete domination from Fun Plus Phoenix. Complete domination indeed. A clean game. Uh, you know, a diving champion that does not have any way to escape harm's way, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, Shivana goes for a dragon's descent and that's it. No utility oh, whatsoever to escape. Exactly. The jungle Wait. clear speed of the Shivana is like second to none, right? <laughs> At one point, plan something. Oh. Dominus? Domination. 
Grand Challenge as a response. Lee Sao healing up for a bit. Does have the extra healing now, and Don okay. will just fall back. Just a bit Big of a bad roll here for this team fight. Don Juan Ace going with a 1v1. Chao as well. Just gonna be going in as well. The uh, Shield of Duran actually working topside. Oh, Lee Sao about to be taken down. Ka as well being engaged. Heroes Enterus gonna be defending him. The Fiora now is gonna be taken down. Chao as well just exiting the path. And one for one trade. Trace Esports now goes towards the Herald. I think they have to back away. The Shingo 7 is here. Yeah, Shingo 7 is still here. Weiba also is alive. It's going to be a 50-50. Can he sell it? No steal whatsoever. FPX definitely on. Yes, did suffer a loss. Uh, his jungler there, Dragon Laner, went down. But Don? Yeah, just overextended this time. The Sonic Wave does connect. Shingo 7 gets a kill on the Vladimir. In fact, lives. Not really the best trade, I He's think. on the top side, and FPX is still in control of the oh. game. They're chasing the cast in the down, but they it's, it's still the early game. They will be able to pin him out. Yeah. And that's so much utilities thrown out just to get that one kill. Ooh, that was close. Oh, good dodge. Oh, good dodge. And uh, wait, Chow flashed in. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, although you have the on the hunt and the spout shield, you don't really have the best mobility in the game, and you can just easily explode oh, in the head of this guy. Gorn! No! You're too far forward and he just take, gets immediately deleted. Now numbers advantage here for FBX. This basically is their dragon now. Unless Trace Esports are gonna oh, risk it, man. they don't. And they just give this dragon away. I was talking about Yuza. We're looking at how it all started with a pickoff onto Korn. Just using the dragon's range. Uh, dragon's range. Threatening disparity is Oh! Chow? Oh, nothing is stopping them at this point. In engaging, they take the dragon down. Zero jungler. Zero jungler and FPX does have perfect access right now to threaten for the Baron. That's gonna be engaging a little they bit there. Corn as well is yeah. here with the crown still going in with the proto bell. Damaging. That's a lot of damage Kong has been taking already, but Korn has to walk away. They have to give this this Baron already, or else yeah, they have just gonna be engaging. They have this fight, they have the takedown on the objective, and now they turn here onto the members of today's esports guys who are just waiting for an opportunity to go in oh! with the flash! And immediately everyone pops up! You say so last one to survive, but only to tell the tale that the rest are dead. Sky FL waited for the perfect opportunity. Doesn't have the Hema Plague bomb anymore, but that is just as deadly. That Cassidy blow up moment from FPX, and they are again in a one sided beatdown, having to target Weba once again here. Chow oh, has no. no mercy whatsoever against the jungler in Weba. They're giving him a nightmare at this point. He just wants to wake up. But it is not a dream, this is reality. And FPX is giving them a one-sided beatdown again on game number two. Yeah, the Baron push continues. Top side will get destroyed. Three cannon minions here in the bottom lane. And FPX is not stopping anytime soon. They're taking all the structures away. They're taking all the champions down. Call of War Chad gonna be used here. Chow is also very low. He might just get traded out. But the Nexus the is Nexus. exposed. FBX is basically sprinting at this point. We're going to game number three and two point lead for FBX. Wow. Scoreless still is Tracy Sports on the blue side. We looked at the stats. On the blue side, Tracy Sports had a 0 3 record the last time. They're in the bottom lane. Mid lane will be a tip for Tad, right? Like the, the, the Vladimir will just continuously trade and scale up against the uh, against the Zeri. But on the top side, the Aatrox versus Renekton, it's not similar to the Aatrox. Also, a massive responsibility for Tad to be able to cancel the engages here of FPX and give some plates to FPX just because of this mere play that Chao is going. Also, the Chao is going to be used, and Tad is just dead. First blood by FPX, and Yuri cannot do anything. Shinto 7, perfect. Well into the late game. Yeah, the only way for Tracy Sports to win in this game is if FPX makes oh, a missed. big mistake. And now they engage towards Lee South, stun him down. With this predator gonna be used into the fate seal. And Shinto 7 is just gonna fall. And the Renekton lives as well. Way but though is gonna be traded out back a little okay. bit late on the body slam. One for one trade. Trace Esports still can fight this if they want to, but they have to draw them towards the tower first. And yeah, well, a not. jungler. A jungler for a jungler, but Lee South. Uh, top side or Lee Sao. But action continues, Shango 7 is here. And yeah, they want to get this RH Kong uh, taking much Weiba. damage already. Weibo is in the vicinity trying to get the steal and he will not. Nope. 
as the heck couldn't fix it up for FPX. Sky though is gonna be targeted here by Lee Sao. The stun is gonna be coming through, but the heal uh, he will play playing. is just enough to sustain him. Mm. Things, man. Six things. minutes in, a double objective for FPX, and that just might do it for the early game yeah. after his esports. They weren't able to get the tower in the mid lane, but it's fine. 155 HP, they can go at it later on. The dragon is a priority, and they will take it as well. In fact, mine? not intercept anymore. The laser is oh. gonna be coming through, unable to get the steal though. As Chao is yeah. just disengaging. The FPX is forced to come back here in this game because just one chance, just one team fight can horn, allow horn. them. But this time, the mid is going to be intercepted, just separating the Gragas, and it's just going to be taken down as well. Yuri, oh, though, taking man. a lot of damage. The tower is going to be taken down. Lisa going in as well, Ooh. getting straight onto the Vladimir. As he goes in once more. Don want to wait is too yeah. fast, though, and he lets him be. Yeah, that's a backup. Good. Don want to aid, but Sky. Oh, good and flash. Oh no, this is bad for Tracy Esports. Kong doesn't have much mana anymore, and he's just gonna get deleted in an instant. Takas when oh, missing the bottom time, but the flash of Sky is just top notch. And that's another casualty to the side of Tracy Esports without any exchange. And, and, and that's how different FPX is oh, yeah, compared to yes. a 4k advantage, and Dawn want to it pops the world ender. Oh, that's great damage. Corn is just gonna get left here. And Dawn went to 8, and Shengdo 7 just gonna run him through. They will most likely win once again. Yeah, because they're that ahead already. Dawn went to 8, is hungry. Horn. He wants some blood. He wants the, the bodies here of Trace Esports to fall down. Dominus is gonna be used already by Lisa. They're prepping. Cast gonna be used. Cass? Not able to separate the members here off of FPX. The backside is gonna be infiltrated. Fury trying Wait, to fight it out. Corn as well is getting the ult done. As the only falls down, that's already two kills by FPX. And nothing that Trace Esports can do. They have to be very careful because they have no vision here on the brush. Yeah. FPX disengaging, but again, re engage again. The only positive point was that Trace Esports was able to get a red buff. But in exchange for what? Chow can go in and Li Sao is going to die. Yeah, immediately popped off. FPX is not letting them intercept here in the Baron at all. Warning shots are death shots, basically. Yeah, and now FPX will have enough time. <gasps> oh, okay. Anymore. FPX is not allowing him to enjoy this oh, game. Oh no. Being taken down Insert. so many times. The fate seal is gonna be used, but Lisa is just gonna be taken down first. Weba running towards the wrong side. Uh, oh no. He's oh. going to just wait it out. Yeah. Bang! You have to go back. Mm. And there you go. A stab to the heart. Of Tracy's force, definitely. FPX. Now, knocking onto the base of today's esports, getting the charge in, the Hebo Plague as well, the flash in by Kong, trying to take Horn down and giving them such a de destructive game. FDX going for match point, and Trace esports has no options but to fight. All games has been pretty much one sided. All games less than 16 minutes, Kiang and FPX rise. <laughs> Picked up here by Trace Esports, Sivir plus the Orn going against the Galio and the Lucian. Pretty much should favor the Lucian Galio almost every time. Then he's <laughs> playing against a Garrett. Oh, Lisa Ooh. forced to flash away, and that's a huge blow. Now Don onto it can just play the lane properly and set Light. up a corn on the Akali with 100% win rate so far. Three wins so far on that champion. Tacto is very low. Yuri trying to see yes, but that is the problem when you pick up a severe. Not really the best range. Also very prone into engages. And right now, Weibo is going to be in the bottom side just in case you do engage. But it's about to be too late as he just uh, dies. Kill. Okay, that's a tower kill. The yeah. severe does get the gold. Did was or was received already. Weibo interfering. Onto you the are and everyone is gonna get caught immediately. Tax still gonna be flashing out, but Kong is just gonna be able to get the kill. Flash in by Don 1 to 8. Just as punch as well. Gonna oh, be Chow. By Chow. Immediately will just disengage the execution. Will land the shuriken. Will he commit though? Low HP already on this Akali. No one dies, and they still continue to the fight. Shingdo 7 just having yeah. the best confidence and take note. The flat was wasn't Chow, right? Like, okay, anyway, action continues. Tracy Sports. The denial with the breath on that business punch, but Tack is already low. Everyone is targeting him at this point. Single 7 gets the face oh, steal from Waybar. That might actually be big. As now Tracy Sports has the confidence. 4 yeah. versus, or rather, 4 versus 3. Yuri's still here as well. The Rift Herald should be taken yeah. now. Something positive. Finally, Weba finds the fate seal to reverse the fortunes of Trace Esports, and that gold 
attacking neutralize if he can fly uh, as well and they're starting to drag out as well golden horn shot gonna be used on the kong no follow-up whatsoever oh, they're just focusing on the objective but right now they turn actually Kong's gonna be dead dropping that as well face esports will get the one and fbx unable to get any three yeah fbx oh man that is Twice in a row, the Kong is on their side this time around. 2,000 gold lead acquired. Top side is about to be answered here by FPX. That is going uh, to die. Renekton sacrificing his life to try and defend. It is successful, but only for a brief moment. Ah, uh, Yuri is here though. On the hunt. Uh, nah. <laughs> Three people trying to destroy and tap, going for another engage. Yeah, separating the members here of FPX. Gorn is gonna be here as well. Kingdom 7 is able to recall. The rest of Tracy is forcing one to die. Tax is gonna be initiating the picket. Steel as well, not connecting onto anyone. As Kong is gonna be the first target. He's <gasps> gonna be dropping down okay. dead. Don't want to eat as well. Oh, not getting missed. the best ult. Oh no. Oh, he wanted to tap, surely, right? But Don wants to eat. That's a, you know, a good. Oh, hang on. Sky FL getting. Some hellos oh! from the Yizo and, and goodbye. <gasps> yeah, hello and goodbye from Weba. <laughs> the perfect combo for Weba and Lisa taking the Vladimir down. And yeah, Wait. it's just absolutely oh. amazing this time around. Tracy's force still going on the fight. Shingo 7 going to be dropping dead. And they're just getting the knockups over and over again towards this Galio. Chow unable to survive. Kong as well going to be next. And last as well, remaining on the side of FBX, Trace Esports gets everyone except for the Gan. Wait, let's wrap it up. I, I really think that Trace Esports is mid game and late game well. FBX and company wants to deny the second dragon. Threatening. Trace Esports are being pinned a little bit. Don't want to wait. Kong is not dead. here though. Uh, and immediately, oh, Shingo 7 is just going to be dropping dead. This is mispositioning by FBX. Sky fell trying to go with a uh, Hail Mary play, but unable to uh -huh. do anything towards the back line. Kong as well just going to be dropping dead for the fifth time already. Chow as yeah. well being last as the mid lane is being pushed by not the not really best DPS uh. member. They do get the tower though, but at what cost? Four members dropping dead and dragon taken here by Tracy. Yeah, Trace Esports back at it again. Winning the macro aside. Overall profit for them. Look here! It is going to be the 12 minute and 30 Baron being started here by Trace Esports. Even a fade seal is going to be used by Trace <laughs> by Weba. Just to gap close it, I think that's it. Unless nah, he's nah. not going to. Too yeah, late. He's not going. Too late. Uh... And Shuriken! They're hit. getting the heads one by one. Mm. Oh. They're turning. They want to take Weba down. Stasis is going to be survived some time. Kong as well is just going to be low <laughs> HP already. Sword drop, but Weba's yeah. still alive. And the Gan is just going to be taken out here. Trace yeah. Esports is getting the outplay and they're loving every second of this fight. And FDS is not <laughs> liking. And started, you know, the, the onslaught by Trace. They're going in against Korn, but this is a Makali. Yeah. It is stalling for oh, a while, that but that's a big shutdown goal as well. They have a guard, and then what exchange? Kong getting dope! <laughs> still able to flash away, still able to be okay. alive. Chow as well, going with the justice punch into the shield as well. And finally, they get way down as well. That's shutdown. the level of shutdown goal. The FX is acquired right now. Sky finally is going to be falling down. The sign is coming through here onto the Renaton stages as well to buy some time. Mid lane being defended yeah. by Delusion, by Kong. Lee Sao escaping with a slice and dice. Can he still stay alive? He does. Oh, oh, he has a flash. More time. And look <laughs> at what's the effect here. All the waves now balanced. Trace Esports has to play for time as well. Wait for the waves and all towers. Oh, towards the next here. Single 7 going in. Wave as well trying to access the back side, but the stolen bound is going to bring him back as well. Chow as well going to be obliterated here. Trace Esports still continuing onto the hunt. Fate uh -huh. still not connected onto anyone with Corrin. Stay alive, actually, Stacey's gonna be survived some time attack, still lives, and yeah. Sky this time is the last one to survive. Finally, Trace Esports, <laughs> after the uh, weird scenario a while ago, are yeah. just gonna be doing the most basic thing here in this game, and that is just to go with a cleanup and run it down mid to finally get their first point in the series. Okay, finally it's over. <laughs> that for a second, that Trace Esports would throw that game away, but... Uh, good for yeah. them is that they still have enough in them to force a game number five. <laughs> Tracy Esports is still going for the double marksman composition this time, but Korn having the mage quirky instead and asking Weba to carry them to the promised land or to game number six is pretty much the ask here. They, for they do have a very good matchup on the top side, right? Like, don't want to wait out. Oh, they want a 2v2 yeah. right away. A Vault Breaker gonna be used, Weba flashing away, Lisa's gonna be trapped here for so long. Korn though, dealing a bit of damage. Mm -hmm. Flashed by Shingo 7. 
and nobody dies, many utility or summoner spells though has been used. Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's a trade of summoner Inner spells. Okay. PX and pretty much it's the same story over and over again. What happened in the bottom lane? Yeah. And you mentioned a while ago, right? They missed Juju. This time, top side, and it's not still going to be successful because of the flash here of Dawn 128. That's information. And they spell. really are targeting. Down this Rift Herald will be paying respects towards the package that is available for Korn. And they are going for Lee Zhao instead. Good dice. And this time, Fade Seal connecting onto the back line as well. Shango 7. Shango 7 is still going to be fine. Right now, Yuri and Korn are on the back side. Kong as well is staying alive for so long. And nobody dying just yet. But it's about to change this time around. Okay. As the Herald is secured Good here time. by FPX. Tracy Sports respecting him as well. No deaths, yeah. just the objective. Yeah, Kong was again very vulnerable there. Now, Don 1 to 8 is still very scary, even without the World Ender. Now the prize is going to get claimed here by FPX. That will be the first tower here in the mid lane. And to add insult. Uh, that was well, very well played by Tracy Sports. Oh, right? like that, that Ward Shengdo 7 though. Going for the engage. Yuri is very low. The ball breaker Boom! into the flash. And everyone's just going to be dropping dead. You might have gotten one kill, but we'll take two on your side. Another one. Stack trying to survive. It's going to be surviving for so Boom! long till that strike. By Don128, Lisa was well gonna be a little bit later on towards the party. Still, Kong is gonna be initiated here, gonna be taken down. Kong oh, is gonna be as well. Scorn is just free hitting from the backside, but a double kill already by Don128 will scare him yeah. off. And that's FPX just flexing. 5k ahead of the Aatrox. Definitely a win condition to have for Trace Esports. Oh, Weba. No, no, no way! Not what you want if you kinda want to extend the series. Another engage. Ooh. That's just a package already expended. With that play and FPX still got something there and that's a tower right now the dragon is gonna be on the table and again they've managed to get the first dragon a while ago this time Lisa, Kong still gonna be fine call of is gonna be used here onto the member teleport by Weba okay the charge though right child kill onto the severe and the steal by mm, Weba Tracy is gonna be to escape as well Tracy's first no one is dying just yet but FPX wants to take them down and that's gonna be the first kill but still Great steal by Weba front line as well as Lee Sao they won the red battle buff. for the red buff this time around, ditching the Baron for the meantime. Wow. Uh, FPX is gonna be winning. Oh. Weba check the area as well. Stacey's gonna be fine enough to survive the fight. But this time it is Lee Sao's time to shine. One to one to eight, rather as the Aatrox is landing the damage. The Corky as well just gonna That's take it. down Lee Sao running for the high hills and will just get taken out by FPX. They waited for the perfect opportunity and they got it. That's the clean ace and FPX knows what's up. 14 minutes and 50 would go for the finish. And we have seen the situation before for Trace Esports. They had the same experience when they battled against EDG. And the babies of EDG this time, the team B, FPX giving them the same score. 4 to 1, FPX advances to the next round and knocks out Trace Esports from WRLA2 Playoffs. My man, what a performance by Fun Plus Phoenix. A domination by FPX. And this is why we just continue to love.